Hello and welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to be switching into my pink vintage Aurora for the month of February. I have not used this binder since last summer and I have missed her. Isn't she just so gorgeous? A little bit dirty. I'm too impatient to clean it. I'm just going to get set up. I'll clean it another time. So what I have done, if you watched my video on how I created my dividers from the Love Letters scrapbook paper pad. So I put them in here already. I've got my sticker pouch ready to go. So I'm going to get my inserts ready and put them in here. This is from Sterling Inc. It's a freebie um, on their website, or sorry, not their website, Facebook group. And oh, I just love this so much. So I printed it. I know it doesn't really go with this theme. Um, it's just too beautiful. I, I just need to have it in my in my binder. So they, she does a freebie every month for the monthly calendar. I did print a little one out that I'll probably put in my um, my compact. So this is um I printed this on paper. So a little kind of card. But uh, yeah, so pretty. I wish she kind of did a pink theme for February, but that's okay. All right. So. I'm going to get started. Um, I did, I was playing around with these just for the pockets. So I put a picture of Ryan and I on this um, that says love. So I liked how that looked peeking out of the pocket. And then I have these cards here. So I just have to decide what I'm gonna put on there. But I thought that looked cute and it will help to tie everything in. So I haven't set this up with the inserts yet to see how it looks. So I hope it looks good. Um, these are page lifters from Franklin Covey um, that came with the Olivia binder in last summer. So I, uh, I'm just addicted to the clear page lifters. And then this pocket here I got from, I believe, Jane's Agenda, these adhesive pockets. So I just like to have some aesthetic on the outside of my binder. Okay, I guess I can get rid of this card now. It is no longer January. Let's see how all of this looks. So I'm gonna speed this part up because I may bring you back here and there as I go, um, but for now I'm going to speed, uh, speed it up just to save time. Okay, so I've got them all in. Let's see how it looks. I took a couple things out. I took the inbox dashboard out because it's quite thick and I really wasn't using it. So I took that out because that does add a good amount of bulk. Um, and then I also, I didn't put this back in at the back because again, it just adds that extra bulk. So I want this to lie flat as possible. She's still chunky, but it'll do. Okay, so I have this authenticity card. Maybe I'll put that in there. I like my clear aesthetic. I kind of like this kind of vintage vibe with the pink. Okay, so this is my page lifter. This aesthetic card came in a cloth and paper box, a subscription box, and I punched holes in it to put page flags on. I saw another Planner Babe do this um, on a flip. I think the flip was on Instagram. I forget who it was, but brilliant. 
I knew right away I wanted to do that. And it's very thin, so it doesn't take up a lot of room. So I have that in there at the front, my 2022 Jane's Agenda uh, year at a glance. It's on vellum, so layered that with this dashboard. Oh, I love this so much. Well, I love them all. They're just all so beautiful. I like the subtle little roses down there, but I'm wondering if there's another one. Let's try. This is beautiful. I'm just feeling like it's a little too subtle for the vellum. That one might be too subtle as well. I want something a little bit more bold. So let's see what we got here. How does that look? It's nice. A little bit better. Maybe I'll just take this out. Oh, try and do it all in a, in, a, in a big bunch, but it doesn't always work. Leave that one there. Ooh, I think this might be the one. What do you think? Oh, it's so pretty. I don't know, should there be more up top? Maybe not. Okay, let's keep going. Let's see what the other options are. Hmm, that's pretty too, with a little hint of blue. Jeez, I might confuse myself by doing this because there's so many that are beautiful. Mm, that's pretty good too. Oh, what about this one? Is that too much red? That might be too much red. I think it is. It doesn't. It doesn't look right. Oh, how did that one stay in there? green. Oh, that's nice too. I really like that one. Okay, let's see. So far I'm narrowing it down to two. That's probably too much red. Oh, well, kind of looks neat, but so I'm narrowing it down to two. I'm narrowing it down to I think it was this one. Nope. The one before. Mm -hmm. This one, I like this one or I like this one. So there's that one or that one. I mean, you really can't go wrong with either one. I'm gonna go with this one. So I will replace it with that. Go back to the front. Why these cards like to slip out? Okay. What do you think? What do you think? I like it. I wish I had more, like more colors of the page flags. But these are the ones that I've either purchased or gotten in my subscription box. So none of these colors really suit um, the vintage vibe I've got going on. So we will leave it at that. Okay, so let's flip through. I like it, I like it. 
So this is what we have for the beginning, which you can kind of say is the January one, February, March, oops, March, April, so pretty, May, June, July, August, September, October, love this one, November, and December. And I love how it looks with the pink. The only thing is my tabs, right? These could be either all black or pink, but I digress. I can't build my planner around the month of February. <laughs> uh, yeah, I love it. I love it. I love it. So the only thing I haven't done is chosen my, you know, different like vellum dashboards to separate my sections, but that's okay. I think like that still looks pretty. That still looks pretty. So we'll just leave it at that. And then for the month of February, I had this vellum dashboard. Do I put it over top? I think I'm gonna go underneath. Yeah, I'll go underneath. So that's it, short and sweet, just switching out dividers. The guts of my planner doesn't ever really change. Um, I've got this set up for the whole year. I don't imagine I'll be changing these out and putting different um, tab dividers in um, because these sections just suit my life perfectly. I didn't show you my pocket, my sticker pocket that I made. So that is, yeah, it's perfect. Holds my stickers perfectly. And I like the little pop of color when my binder is closed or when my inserts are all down, you can see the little pop of color and it just ties everything in. I love it, love it. So stay tuned to see how I evolve this side here. I, I may not really do much. I think I might put an affirmation on one of these cards. This says love notes. So maybe an affirmation, something like that, something to keep me motivated as I open my binder each day. And that's it. I'm not going to put anything in here because in these um, vintage Aurora's from 2017, these are very hard to open. You can't open it with one hand. You have to hold the binder with one hand and um, pull the zipper. So it's just too much of a pain for me. So I'm not going to put anything in there. I'm not sure if I'll put anything in there either. I don't know. I didn't even think about that. If I grab my scrapbook paper pad and see if there's something I can put in there. I'm not sure. I think I just might leave it. Stay tuned. You'll see any updates if uh, you follow me on Instagram or um, future YouTube videos. Uh, I didn't put my little sticky notes back here. I'll add those again. They, the color kind of ties in. All right, guys, thank you for watching. If you have any questions, let me know. And um, we'll see you in the next video. Thank you again for watching. Look how pretty that looks with my charms. I love it. I love it. Happy February. See you in the next video. Bye.